Please give a round of applause to our, skill, our skilled djembe drummers recorded during our 2018 annual WAMS Black History Month program. The djembe drum is used by African tribes to communicate with one another over the mouths through a call and response, to gather people or traditional rhythms were used to celebrate the harvest, weddings, and other events. Good afternoon, and welcome to the fifth annual WAMS Black History Month program, the 20th century. Black History Month honors the contributions of African Americans to United States history. Black History Month began as Negro History Week which was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson, a noted African-American historian, scholar, educator, and publisher. It became a month-long celebration in 1976. The month of February was chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, a prominent American abolitionist, author, orator, and he was born a slave and escaped at age 20 and went on to become a world-renowned anti-slavery activist. Lift every voice and sing. At one time, called the Negro National Anthem, was publicly performed first as a poem as part of a celebration of Abraham Lincoln's birthday on February 12, 1900. By 500 schools, children at segregated, segregated station, Staten School in Jacksonville, Florida, its principal, James Weldon Johnson, wrote the words to introduce its honored guest, Booker T. Washington. The poem was set to music soon after by Johnson's brother, John, in 1905. Please stand for the national anthem and remain standing for the black national anthem.
the Wims Dance Theater will present us with three performances. The first being one of tap. Tap dance is a uniquely American art form in the early 20th century. The movements and rhythm practiced by black dancers spread across the country. During the jazz age of the 1920s and into the 1930s, African American chorus girls often performed in clubs with male tap dance artists. During the jazz age of the 1920s and into the 1930s, African American chorus girls often performed in clubs with male tap dance artists and jazz musicians. Students in tap one, two, and three, with the help of Mrs. Ilian, re researched these dances and created an original piece to New Orleans jazz music recorded in the 1920s by Sam Morgan's jazz band. African dance is from the 2018 WAMS Black History Month performance dance in Africa. It's integrated into everyday life. It is an expression of life and can be seen at social, religious, and cultural events. Communities gather together to dance for the birth of a baby or the death of a loved one. Dance is passed down through the generations and often tells a story or teaches a lesson. The WAMS dancers will perform a dance that is a compilation of African movements designed to expose the students to the rhythms of Africa. And now we present Akwaba, which means welcome. 
Performed under the direction of Patricia Label and Cheryl w Worth Santuli with choreographic contributions from WAM's dance students. Students are moving on Sarantu, one of the ladies' profane traditional rhythm from Burkina Faso. 
The choreography is a combination of the Mandingo traditional and warrior steps from the southwest and eastern parts of Burkina Faso. This piece is choreographed by Aguibu San Sanu, who is a Naugatuck Valley Community College Fulbright Scholar in residence in the U.S. from Africa.
Please give a round of applause for guest artists Agibu, Sanu, Mrs. Worth, Mrs. Ilian, Mrs. Lightbell, and the dance students for their presentation and hours of rehearsal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Cami Beezer to introduce the Wham's Chorus. Good afternoon. My name is Cami Beezer. I'm happy this year to be the president of the Wham's High School Chorus. I'm happy to introduce the next song we are doing, The Dream Keeper with the words by the great poet and writer Langston Hughes and music by Rollo Dilworth. The vice president is Evan Tyson. Langston Hughes is considered one of the most prolific and powerful African-American writers in the 20th century American literature. His verses often reflect the experiences that spoke directly to the societal issues of his time, including politics, religion, and racism. The Dreamkeeper depicts the legend of a fictitious character whose role is to protect the dreams of those who are willing to hand over their deepest passions and heartfelt desires to him. Rollo Dilworth, one of the most prolific and successful African-American chor choral composers, has chosen this idea to use the opening vocal phrase to represent the voices of the dreamers who call upon the Dreamkeeper for assistance. We have chosen today to insert the historic remarks of Dr. Martin Luther King as he spoke so eloquently on what his dream for our people would be. The Dream Keeper by Langston Hughes. Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. created equal. children shall live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. I have a dream that one day little black boys and little black girls will join hands with little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Thank you. 
Please give a round of applause for Mrs. Vagnini and the choral students for their presentation and hours of rehearsal. What is an HBCU? Historically, black colleges and universities are institutions of higher education in the United States that were established before 1881 with the intention of primarily serving the African American community. And HBCUs still have a major role to play for many black students as they, they are safer and more nurturing places. Now, if you have never witnessed an HBCU halftime show, as Mr. Sterling experienced while attending University, Maryland Eastern Shore and Mrs. Washington growing up in Tuskegee and attending Tuskegee University, you are in for a real treat. We hope you feel the spirit and enjoy the hard work done by these students to present to you this production. So we present under the direction of Mr. Sterling, the Wham's Drumline. Excuse me. Please give a round of applause for Mr. Sterling and the Women's Drum Line. <laughs> African American composer William Owens, born in 1963, received his Bachelor's of Music Education degree in 1985 from Vandercook College of Music in Chicago. A seasoned music educator, Mr. Owens is active as a composer, conductor, and clinician throughout the United States. Mr. Owens has written numerous commissioned and published works for middle school and high school concert bands. 
The Wham's Orchestra will perform for you today one of his works titled D Jam Blues. Ed Kopp wrote in a brief, his, a brief History of the Blues. The blues has deep roots in American history, particularly African American history. The blues originated on southern plantations in the 19th century. Its inventors were slaves, ex-slaves, and the descendants of slaves and African American sharecroppers who sang as they did as they toiled in the cotton and vegetable fields. It's generally accepted that the music evolved from African spirituals, African chants, work songs, field hollers, rule of fife, and drum music, revivalist hymns, and country dance music. Please welcome the Wham's Orchestra playing DJ and Blues under the direction of Mrs. Case. Give a round of applause for Mrs. Case and the orchestra students for their presentation and hours of rehearsal. Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty are considered the foremost theatrical writing team of their generation and are members of the Theater Hall of Fame. They won a Tony, Drama Desk, and Outer Credits Circle Award for Ragtime and were nominated for two Academy Awards and two Golden Globes for Anastasia. 20th Century Fox's animated feature film. Anastasia is also a now long running hit on Broadway. Last season, their Once on This Island won Broadway's 2018 Tony Award for the best revival of a musical. In 2019, Aarons and Flaherty are currently nominated for their fourth Grammy Award, as well as the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Other theatrical credits include Susical. Once on this Island is a one act musical with a book and lyrics by Lynn Ahrens, music by Stephen Flaherty, and under the direction of Miss Smith, please welcome to the stage the Wham's Theater Department.
Captain. God of water. Erzuli, beautiful goddess of love. And Papa Gay, sly demon of death. Asaka, grow me a garden. Please, Agwe, don't flood my garden. Erzuli, who will my love be? Papa Gay, don't come around me. Please, Agwe, don't flood my garden. Asaka, grow me a garden. Bravo, Wham Theater Department, Bravo. Thank you for your performance and hours of rehearsal. Jazz, according to dictionary.com, jazz, a noun, a type of music, black American origin, characterized by improvisation, syncopation, and usually a regular and forceful rhythm. Emerging, emerging at the beginning of the 20th century, 
Brass and woodwind instruments and piano are practically associated with jazz, although guitar and occasionally violin are also used. Style include Dixieland, swing, bebop, and free jazz. As defined by Merriam-Webster, jazz is American music developed especially from ragtime and blues and characterized by propulsive syncopated rhythms, polyphonic ensemble playing, varying degrees of improvisation, and often deliberate distortions of pitch and timbre. Po ja <laughs> jazz, it's a popular dance music defined, influenced by jazz and played in a loud rhythmic manner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, under the direction of Mr. Sterling, the Wham's Jazz Band.
I'm a little short for this microphone. <laughs> How's everyone today? Yeah. You guys look so good. Wow. Wait, let me take my glasses off. Oh, you look even better. No, I'm just joking. Okay, we're going to play a little song by Mr. Herbie Hancock, who was one of the greatest jazz piano pianists in the world. He's a living legend right now. He started with the Miles Davis Quartet, or trio, I can't, they kind of uh, exchanged those names over a period of time. But this is a little uh, funky kind of groove, if you guys know what funk is. Anybody know what funk is? Corey, Corey, give me a little funk beat right there with a uh, bass and snare, two and four. Ready? One, two, Corey, and... That's called a little funk. All right. We have some very special guests today. As you can see, Mr. Moe is with us today, holding down the bass line. Mr. Jack Avino is playing uh, some keys over there. Somebody you probably don't know, but you've seen him at school, Mr. Keenan Asbridge is playing trumpet for us today. And uh, I dug up some phone numbers and I found Tyreek and Malachi, former Whammers, college students. Shai Mel in the corner over there playing some kungas. And of course, all of you know Mr. Corey Hunter. All right, are we ready, band? Ready. One. Thank you. 
afternoon, Whams. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah. All right. To quote Count Basie, if you play a tune and a person don't tap their feet, don't play the tune. But we were definitely tapping our feet, weren't we, Whams? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sterling and the Whams Jazz Band for your performance and hours of rehearsal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a treat for you. Please welcome to the stage, for your enjoyment, the WAMS faculty. Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about the song that we're about to do. This is written by Horace Silver. He's actually, or was, I'm sorry, a native of Norwalk, Connecticut. Very famous in the 50s. Um, the song is called Song From My Father. It has a little bit of a Brazilian swing to it. And I believe it's going to feature all of us. I think I can play a couple of notes. I'm, I'm the weakest member of the group. I, no, uh, no more apologies, okay. But anyway, it's going to feature um, Mr. Mo on bass, uh, Keenan on trumpet, Tyreek, tenor sax, Mr. Belvedere on piano. And I'm gonna try to hold the rhythm down. So, enjoy. Yep. Right. One, two, 